Alright, so this is our uh, physics uh, project uh, golf ball cannon, and right now we're measuring the uh, PVC pipe and uh, cutting it at 30 inches so we can have it on an angle and it'll be in the dimensions. So, uh, so far, we just made the cut on the PVC pipe and we made the slit for our rubber band, and uh, I'm gonna sand it down to make it real smooth. We're doing our first launch for the uh, for the launcher, like the golf ball launcher. It's got to go over that trash can and hit that piece of uh, wood over there, and that's pretty much accurate. And we're just uh, holding it right now, getting a slightly, just getting a slight idea. Let it go a little bit more. All right, so I'm putting the pin in now. And now Jake, you're just gonna hold it, and I'm just gonna pull the pin. And it's gonna fire. The golf ball's in there. All right, ready? All right, so too far. I'm gonna have to fix out a little bit. We're about to make our anchoring wood. We're gonna cut them for 30 inches. So right now we are um, screwing in the base to the to where we're gonna put the pipe on top of. So this is our final product, our launcher. Uh, all we gotta do is paint it and just make a little few more adjustments. Here's your tech shot. Little switch. Right on the money. So I hit that one. As you can see, our project is pretty much done. We just have to paint it and you know, calibrate it a little bit more. But to find initial velocity, I'm assuming that's what you're here for, correct? Yeah, yeah. All right, good. So what we did, we used acceleration, time, and distance. And we used the initial velocity as the unknown. And that's what we had to find. Okay, so right now I'm about to explain um, all the pieces, all the parts that it, that's in our project, in our projectile launcher. And um, I like to say that it was a lot harder than we actually expected, like a lot harder. So, but uh, here's our almost final product. We just have to paint it and maybe add a few little touches. So here I'm going to start with the base. The base we used a 2x4 um, piece of plywood. We got it cut out uh, at Home Depot. They cut it for us because it's way too big, and um, it's actually perfect. It'll fit right in the squares at school and just you know rock it. The next we put up these cross beams right here, and that's to hold our launcher. Actually, it's to be like a uh, a slingshot sort of mechanism, as you can see with these bungee cords. You just you know attach them up here with screws, and you just kind of use that to uh, to pull back and and that'll support the beam. And then under the post, I don't know if you can see it, is this wood, this wood, um, not cross beam, but I don't know how to, I don't know, what's, what's it called, Matt? Just, just a, like a support beam? All right, support beam, there you go. Yeah, that's a support beam, and that's there just to, well, first of all, to hold the pipe on and connect the pipe to these, because without that, there'd be no other way to connect it. Um, you're probably wondering why it's all wrapped around and stuff. So we wrapped it around a few times, like as we were testing without tying it or anything, just to see if we got the right tension, if we got the right, you know, uh, I guess power for the golf ball to launch out of the tube. And it worked. So that's our bungee. This is our pipe. Uh, we put a slit in the side of it, put it through, has a pull string to pull back. We have this piece of fishing line on it. I don't think you can see it real well at all, but you pull that back. And as far as that goes back, you put this knot on the end of the pull string back there. You load your golf ball, you hold the top of it, you let it go, and you're done. So that's all the parts that make our uh, projectile launcher. Thank you. So uh, as you can see, we have Jacob's beautiful masterpiece right here. Um, I mean, if this doesn't win, I don't know. That is that is very beautiful. Jake, what are your thoughts on this? I, I think it's a 10 out of 10. All right. Sounds good. It's a dime. Dime. All right. It's a dime.